go again. I'm ranking as a monte from grade 6 Aguinaldo. Let us explore the beauty of mathematics as we answer the performance task week 3. Let's go! In the two former presentations, we have used the Agonza method to solve for the problem. Now, for our third video, we will still be using the Agonza method to find the answer to the problem. If you are ready, I am ready. So, let's get it done! This is our problem for week 3. Sheila has 4 meters of cloth to be made into a handbag. She uses 1 half meters for each handbag. If she sells each bag for 50 pesos, how much money will she earn? The first thing that we are going to do is find what is asked in the problem. As you can see, the question in the problem is, if she sells each bag for 50 pesos, how much money will she earn? Looking at the context of the problem, I can say that we are looking for the amount of money Sheila will earn if she sells the bag for 50 pesos each. The second step is to determine what are the given facts. The given facts in the problem are 4 meters of cloth, 1 half per meter of cloth, and 50 pesos per bag. Since we have our given facts already, let us try to find out what operation are we going to use. Let's look at the context clues. In the problem, we can see there that Chile uses 1 half meters for each handbag. It means we are going to use division. Since we are going to divide 4 meters by 1 half to see how many bags can be made out of cloth. Then, let's follow the context of the problem. She is going to sell the bag for 50 pesos each. In this case, we are going to apply multiplication. The operations to be used are division and multiplication. For the number sentence, we have to apply the indicated operations. 4 divided by 1 half, then multiply it with 50 afterwards, it will give us the value of n. For the solution, 4 divided by 1 half is 8. Then, we are going to multiply 8 by 50 to get the total amount of Sheila's earning. The answer will be equal to 400 pesos. In conclusion, Sheila will earn 400 pesos if she will sell 8 bags for 50 pesos each. Hindi mo ba napapansin Mga bulaklak ay magkakawangis Mga dahon ay magkakahugis Hindi mo ba naitatanong Bumbay may ayos na sinusundan Sa math ninyo yan malalaman